just failed to take an 18 second lead after some good work by Andy Vlahos. Sixth place Melbourne Knights, who were looking to avenge their round 19 5-2 loss to Wollongong Wolves, went into an early lead after Toto de Costa outpaced the South Melbourne defence. Two minutes later, the 7,000 supporters that had packed into the Knights Stadium celebrated again when striker Adrian Savinsky flat-footed South's keeper Michael Pekovic. South Melbourne entered this game having suffered just one defeat and their complacency was fully exploited by a rampaging Melbourne Knights. This half volley from Joel Porter will go down as one of the goals of the season. The Knights broke down South Melbourne's occasional attacks and when Porter sped past David Clarkson, a former Knights defender was issued with a yellow card after he fouled the young striker. When South Melbourne managed to pierce open the Knights' defence, Lupce Asevsky pulled off this reflex save after a Vaughan Covney header. Covney then bundled his way into the Knights' defence, but the normally ice-cool Kiwi international was off colour as his shot missed the target. Melbourne Knights' Andy Vargas then hit a speculative shot that Pekovic did well to keep out of the South Melbourne goal. Teamwork was the highlight of the night's fourth goal. Lou Lipsansky, the ex-Carlton ace, finished in fine style, giving the loyal Knights fans plenty of reasons to celebrate. It was a resounding victory for the Knights who stunned their rivals with their finest performance of the season. Melbourne Knights 4, South Melbourne nil.